Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to my channel. My name is Ness. In this video, I'm gonna do a quick sneaker review, the Adidas Indoor Gazelle. And as usual, I'm gonna share with you guys my three different looks I create to go with the show. Let's go. So this is the pair of the Adidas Indoor Gazelle. Perhaps this is the best shoes that released from Adidas after the release from the Adidas Forum. Um, to me, this is the one of the best classic shoes of all time. And you know, I have a lot of emotional memory with this Gazelle sneaker in general. Uh, not in this particular Indoor Gazelle, but I have a good memory with the Gazelle sneaker, the one with the T-toe Gazelle. And uh, this one is more like a wingtip toes. The reason why I have a very good memory with the Adidas Gazelle, that shoes was, was one of my favorite shoes that I used to dance with that shoes, you know, make a lot of money through dancing on the street with that shoes. So that's why every time I heard the Adidas Gazelle, I always bring it back to a good memory when I was young, you know, hustling. So basically this indoor Gazelle, they released after the collaboration with the Gucci. Um, to me, it's a smart strategy uh, from Adidas. Adidas would know that that Gucci collaboration collection would bring back this model. So that's why they released these shoes after the collaboration with Gucci. I think it's a smart move from Adidas. And also like the Adidas Gucci Gazelle, those are really nice too, you know. They use premium leather on the upper and also in the lining as well. Um, feel premium. Of course, you pay like almost a thousand dollar for that shoe. So you don't want to cut any corner on that shoe. Um, this one is cost only 150. Um, it's a great price point for those who can't really afford Gucci collab. The design aesthetic is look the same. It's just the material and some internal material that they are different compared to the Gucci collab. And the Adidas collaboration with Gucci, uh, there's a one particular like Gazelle that I really want to get is the one that have the Gucci logo print all over on the upper and also on the midsole of the shoe. That is the typical Gucci signature design because they always have the Gucci branding all over their products. I think that one is worth your money more on that collaboration with the Adidas and Gucci compared to the other one like the red or the green colors. Those are nice too, but you know, a collaboration, you want to make things like a little bit stand out on the model, you know. So before we get into the styling with the shoe, let's get a closer up into the design of the shoe. Top down view on this shoe is uh, the wings tips in toe overlays. Um, very different from the T toe overlay on the regular gazelle that I used to break dance on. The entire upper they use sway material. I think this sway material is more like a split sway so a little bit more into like the inexpensive material that they use on the show. With the branding is three straight in the quarter and next to it is the gazelle name of the shoes in metallic gold and also go pretty good with the cream color also as well. Uh, in the back of the mustache, you can see the branding Adidas original uh, print in black. And in the tongue though, um, I remember when I was in designing school, um, this tongue they actually inspired by uh, the soccer shoe. Um, the reason why they use the foam in tongue is when um, the soccer player they kick the shoes so they have more control and the feel of the ball. That's why this tongue is kind of a little bit thin. Uh, compared to the regular tongue, like the padded tongue, you don't really feel or you're able to control the ball well as much as on this foam tongue. Um, so that's why there's a story behind of this uh, foam tongue, you know. Me personally, I don't really like the foam tongue, but that is more like the heritage of the shoe that they got inspired from. So that's why, you know, the tongue is iconic on the gazelle anyway. Uh, the laces that they use is the nylon flat laces. On the eglet, you can see the Adidas branding logo in the eglet. 
um, go to the outsole tooling of this shoe. This shoe is designed meant for handball player that they play indoor. So that's why they use this uh, outsole. It's a little bit sticky. I wear the shoes and I walk around my house. I feel like really good grip, you know, sticky, yicky, you know, <laughs> on the shoe. This outsole, I don't think is, is a rubber. I think it's more like a TPR. Um, if you guys don't know uh, what a TPR, I'm just gonna leave this definition on the screen for you to look at. Um, that's why I feel like it's a little bit inexpensive. I bet the Gucci collab uh, with Adidas, the Gazelle, I think they use a full like 100% rubber. So that's why I feel like a little bit heavy, you know, and also it's not that flexible compared to this one. Um, the outsole is a little bit translucent. That's why you see this three stripe pattern go all the way underneath this midsole. And in the back of the heel counter at the midsole, you can see there's an Adidas branding there. So the insole of the shoes in the arch area, they have the arch support. This is a good for my feet because um, I have a high arch. This one give me a little bit support in the art. So that's why I appreciate this insole. I think most of the shoe that they don't really have art support, you know, some people need art support, some people don't. So I need art support. That's why I appreciate this insole from this indoor gazelle from Adidas. Top layer of this insole, they have leather texture in white and the screen print branding Adidas logo in black. The sizing on the shoes is fit to two side. Um, to me, it's a little bit uncomfortable somehow. You know, uh, I think it's too flat. Uh, doesn't really have cushioning that much. Um, I feel like my forefoot, I work a little bit extra harder when I walk on the show. Overall, it's a good, very good shoes. This is one of the best shoes that from the Adidas archive. Timeless piece that everyone should have it in their wardrobe definitely can go with anything you know from short jean to trouser like casually it's the best shoes out there in the market so far for this 2022 and up next i'm gonna share with you guys my three different looks i create to go with the show let's go So there you have it. This is my quick sneaker review on this Adidas Indoor Gazelle, one of my favorite shoes of all time from Adidas. And if you like one of the look I create to go with the shoe, comment below in the comment section and give me a thumb up. 
that would help me a lot and subscribe to my channel for more video i have a lot of video coming up every single week and i can wait to share with you guys i'm out